Shovel 604 here, and um, I'm here to teach you how, how to play Guitar Hero on Expert. Now, I've received many requests well, around my school saying that they haven't, many people just got Guitar Hero, but they're having trouble playing it on Expert. I don't see what's so hard about it. Well, I'm going to teach you how to play Guitar Hero on Expert and make it seem like it's a breeze. It may seem hard at first, but after a while, once you start playing Expert all the time, it gets easy. It's just like it's second nature basically. Well the difference here is that I'm going to teach you how to play it on Expert. This is, I've been looking through Guitar Hero 3 and looking at the tutorial. It doesn't seem to be thorough enough, especially when they're talking about hammer-ons or pull-offs. Now what they don't show you is when to do it. So when I first started playing, I had no idea which ones were hammer-ons or pull-offs. Well, throughout this tutorial I'll explain everything, including tapping, which many people still do not know what it is and think Oh, it's fake guitar. Well, actually, tapping is one of the most hardest techniques you'll have to learn in real guitar. But the Guitar Hero Company um, try to make that almost perfect, as in like the real tapping. It's all not even not as perfect, but it's still pretty hard. And they try to put the difficulty in songs like Jordan, Through the Fire and Flames, stuff like that. And now I'm now just so you know that I'm talking about everything, so I can know that you know all terminology. I'm going to start from the very top at the very beginning from basic tutorial. The first thing we're going to go through are frets. These buttons are known as frets. As you all know they're green, red, yellow, blue and orange. Now throughout the game you see on the fretboard that there are different colours and you need to strum well, um, per note. So here is the strum bar which you strum notes on the fretboard which I'll go through later but first we're going to go look, look at your guitar and know all your stuff. This here is the whammy bar. This is used during long notes um, which you can activate star power on. Um, I'll explain what star power is in a second. And um, yeah, so you strum with, while holding the frets on it. So you do this kind of thing. Uh, if you can see that. Yeah, and um, to activate star power well, star power is when you have small phases where the frets are shaped like little stars and what you have to do is you have to hit every single note without missing it or screwing up. Once you do that, then you activate star power, well, but you get a charge, which if you put it up halfway, you will activate star power, which you can use and when you're in trouble because it basically puts up your life from all the way um, down the bottom all the way back up to the top really easily and it's, you have a hard time dying so which is pretty good when you're in trouble and um, it also um, trip doubles your count meter so you have a times four you get times eight yeah basic stuff but now what the professionals do in Guitar Hero instead of tilting the guitar like at normal star power they use the select button which is down here this button here what they do is Instead of tilting it, so when they're doing like really hard, fast phases, instead of tilting it, they press the button just like this. Press the button with their with their palm or something like that, or press it with their finger. What that does is it gives your hand free, so you can do still keep on going with that, so you don't mess up while pressing the button by just like you know giving a twitch. That's one of the basic things you're going to have to learn how to do. Um. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention um, the reason why that we twitch like this is when you're sitting down. Now you, you encounter an expert fast songs like Through the Fire and Flames or Dead Went Down to Georgia. Those types of songs you can play standing up but I feel that you get really really tired and seriously I can't stand up and play a song that fast. Not even Chris, well Chris Chai can do it but I'm pretty sure he, he did get 100% he had to sit down. Mainly because of tapping. Now when you're sitting down the good thing is all the frets stay in the same position. Well, so when you wobble, it's still in the same spot, so you can tap. But when you're standing up, when you're moving a lot, your frets move around, and it's kind of hard to figure out, what, remember all the way all the frets are. Which I feel is the problem here, where people keep saying to me, "Oh, I can't get my finger onto the orange fret." Well, what I, what my tip is here, when you're first playing guitar here, I would say sit down, because sit down. When you're sitting down, you get a more stable more stable guitar so you you kind of can memorize all the notes pretty easily which if you do that a lot then you remember where all the notes are like where there's 
See, if you're not looking, and then there's a green one, there's a red one, there's an orange one, a blue one, yellow, green, blue, orange, yeah, and so on. Anyway, yeah, that's why we you start out by just um, pushing the button on expert. Remember, this is on expert. I'm teaching how to play expert. Um, now, the next thing we're going to go through is um, what are hammer-ons and pull-offs. Now, the tutorial does tell you this, but I feel that it, it kind of doesn't really explain it very well. It doesn't show you which buttons that are hammer-ons. Now, there's a distinct way to tell this. In Guitar Hero 2, it's, it was a little harder because in Guitar Hero 2, there's frets and there's little rings on top of the frets that were either black or white and the pull-offs were the white ones. Now, come on, come on, who's going to notice a little ring change, seriously? But you, you'll see it eventually, but here yeah, I'm going to teach you. In this game, it's very easily noticeable because in Guitar Hero 3, Instead of just a little ring, the entire top of the fret glows um, white. It's very easy, easy to tell when you're playing expert. So basically, when you're doing something like that, you just go, you strum the first one, and you just, to hammer on, you go to the next fret or whatever fret, without having to strum again, which is basically a hammer on. Or pull-offs, you just, it's the exact opposite, so you go from, but you have to have to hold the second one. So you go backwards and then you pull off so that these ones, this fret is still down. Now, if you look at it on a real guitar, they, they do this on real guitar as well, I think that's what they call it. Just to, imagine it as a real guitar. This is, I'm going to explain why you don't have to strum in these phases. Well, guitar is all based on vibration throughout the strings. And when you, when you strum one fret, the whole string in front of it will vibrate. So just imagine this is a string vibrating. And then when you push, push on the vibration, it stops in, the, in between where you're hammer oning, but it still vibrates here. So you'll have this note instead of this note. This is why it's called a hammer on. And a pull off is the same thing. You strum here, you strum, it's vibrating, and then you pull off. So now when you pull off, it's still vibrating, but now it's connecting to this fret. So this fret will get this new sound, which is why we can do hammer ons and pull offs in guitar. Now I'm going to show you what hammer-ons and pull-offs look like on the Guitar Hero 3 game so you can tell which ones are hammer-ons which ones are pull-offs because when I first started I didn't know what I was doing. I was trying to hammer-on every single note and well it kind of failed and I died on easy but you know <laughs> that was a long time ago. Anyway I'm going to show you now. Okay here's a little hammer-on phase and pull-offs phase just for you to show you. I'm going to show you what it looks like. I'm going to go see on expert and I'm just going to click, I'm playing the metal and I'm just going to go click on the um, verse and I'm going to show you what uh, pull off and hammer on looks like. I'm going to go to slowest. I'm just going to quickly show you. Now, yeah. Here you go. As you can see, the fretboard, here's all the frets. So, you, this is drum, strum. See the color? See how they're white? This is a hammer on to pull off. It's normal, normal, hammer on. Normal, pull off and hammer ons. Normal, normal, hammer on, pull off, or whatever, pull off. Normal, 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 hammer on, pull off. Normal, normal, hammer on, normal, normal, pull off, hammer on. You see the colors? You see how the hammer ons here are much whiter, or at the top they're really white? And this is how you can tell that they are either hammer ons or pull offs. Anyway, you get the idea.